Thank you. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Robbie was just picking yourself up the floor, which I think many of you are now after yeah. watching that episode. Did you get the, floor, the reference with the hand coming through the table? Everyone got it. Everyone, yeah, everyone got, got it. it. Everyone was feeling the vibes. Um, welcome to our very last interrogation room with the amazing Rob Magseba, aka Mr. Will Jackson. Hello. Wow. Season 12. Mic drop. I mean, Vera had a mic drop, but the whole episode was a season mic drop. That was a spade drop right there. A spade drop. That was a spade drop. Boom, bang. Just smash it down there. Yeah. Um, lots and lots to talk about. So we'll get started with talking about the app. So then we can throw to the audience because I know they will be just killing for asking you lots and lots of questions. Yep. Uh, and you know what, guys? You know what Robbie loves? Robbie loves to see all the little love hearts happen at the bottom of the screen. I do. No angry faces, okay, just love. Because, you know, we're celebrating the end of season five, all right? So it's all love. We need love after the finale, I feel. Just love. Just, just love. Guys. Love, love. Right, let's do it. Okay, so let's talk about the first... <clears throat> the, the first thing I want to talk about is the scene where Will finally cracks Jake to a little blubbering baby mess about the whole Will's Jasper murder. Yep. That was a scene. So, Will gets in, does the investigation, finally works it out. I mean, how many... It's been so long, and Will finally cracks it, but it yeah. was him. Yeah. And then Jake just completely crumbles and, and looks to Will like, I don't know what to do, Will. Help me. Yeah. Talk us through that scene. Talk us through working with, with Bernie over the yeah. past couple of seasons, or the past two seasons, and getting to that point, and finally being able to... You've known... Like, Will's known he's a bad guy. Will's yeah. known he's had stuff to cover, but yeah. then he finally gets to be able to put it on him. Um... Oh, well, first and foremost, working with Bernie has been a delight, uh, like the rest of, of the cast. And uh, we spoke, me, Kev, Kev Carlin, who was the director of our last block, we spoke about that scene and where Bernie went, where, in, where he ended up in his journey, um, and where I ended up in, in my journey. And that whole scene kind of, because as, as, as we've seen tonight, you know, Will was on this crusade to find to to convince Vera or and everyone else that Jake is that rotten officer. Um, and I think the finale the, well definitely the finale was realizing that it was actually him that uh, that killed Nails. Nails? Nails. Nails Jasper. Nails Jasper. Yeah. Yeah, Jasper. Cool. Um, and I think one of the things that came out of that scene was finally finding out that he did it, but also realizing that you know that this 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 character, uh, uh, Jake. You know he's he's just he's a puppet. He's yeah. he's the freak's puppet. You know in the end there when I said, are you going to tell? Are you going to tell the police? You know he just you know it, it just says a lot about his character. It's just like he, he's he's if, if no one's controlling him, he has he has no power to to to. To do things for on, on his own kind of thing. It's like he wants you to tell him what to do. Yeah, yeah. Just but, like he needed the freedom. Yeah, basically. To do. But I think also, you know, it came about. Also, he he found a side of him with Vera, that you know, at first their whole plan was to 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 make well to to basically nail Vera, but realizing that he actually he, he actually fell in love with her. So I think that had that contributed to him as well. You know, contributed to that 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 shift. Yeah. In, in character, but yeah, but for my crusade, if it was for my for my journey, was to to find out and to get proof that it was it was Jake that was um, um, that was part of you know the, the whole picture. The whole picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I guess we have another poignant scene which I personally love, and I chatted to you about this before we, yeah. when we watched it. Is when you know. Will goes in and talks to the freak, and even though she's going down, we talked about this. She'll still yeah. go down swinging, swinging like that, yeah. that that cutting line of like those women are capable of doing what you won't. Mm. It's just like she just has had it in for Will. Oh, from, from since, the get go, from season season two when the yeah. freak came in, that was her main. That was her her drive yeah. was to get Will because um, 
because of that love that he took he took away the baby that you know that yeah. um, what's Gianna. the name of Gianna? Gianna. 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 Yeah. So he never, she 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 didn't have uh, it's, it's that thing that we dis discuss you know he she she does not like the man and even though like we spoke about before even though she she's going down she will still go she will go down swinging at will because she knows he's he, in, in the end of the day he's he's won but there is no way in hell that she's ever going to go down without either. you know she probably to other characters she probably um will, 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 will have a softer side but not to will because that was her goal that was the, the main reason why she came into to wentworth was to get back at will yeah but ended up you know, destroying everyone else's just life. Just taking the yeah, whole just world taking down. the whole world. I mean, you know? she has had a pretty good crack at destroying Will's life too along the way. Yeah, yeah, and along with everyone yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah uh, no, and it just, it's such a poignant scene in the sense that, like you said, mm. she's going down, but there's no way she's going to become vulnerable mm. or let her guard down. She's yeah. going to go down swinging. Which, which was also the one of the major, that was one of the, 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 the major scenes for Will's shift, I reckon. That was one, and then the other scene was with um, Kaz yeah. tonight. They were the, the combination of those scenes led to what he did at the grave, um, led to, to him burying him. Yeah, which yeah. is a great segue. Yeah. Thank you for that. Into the into the chat with Kaz, mm. where she does say, to get justice, sometimes you need to cross the line. Mm. Before we unpack that, let's talk about this renewed or this different relationship that we've seen between Will and Kaz this season since Ep 5. With yeah, the, yeah, yeah, with the, the boiler. Boil, boil, yeah, yeah, because it's a massive shift. Yeah. For both of them, not yeah. just for Kaz letting a, a man and being vulnerable to a man, mm. but also for what, for Will actually, she, you know, she tried to ruin his life. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, because I, I think both characters had similar kind of um, ideas and, and motivations, you know. They, they both wanted the, 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 the right, they both wanted good for the women. They, they wanted, but the fact that their, their, their backgrounds came, they were total opposite. She came from a... Well, I think Kaz was um, abused by her father, so she had that that kind of triggered where she got to in her life. Whereas my my Will's um, backstory was he used to be a social worker, um, and then met uh, Meg, and then um, was introduced to Wentworth. So their their whole I mean, at well, some point, even though they've got different backgrounds and they hated they hated each other, at some point it had to come to a head, and um, or a shift, and episode was it. You know, realizing, um, Kaz realizing that there are good men. You know, there are good. Not yeah. every man in in her world are bad. You know, there are what there are good men in the world, and she actually in that because I saw it the other night because my partner was watching it and she's I saw that scene of us on the side of the river. And I could see, and I saw that shift within Kaz, was her, she saw, she saw what, um, what a good person he, he was, is. you know, what well, he, he is. Because she was blinded by it. Yeah. Blinded by that from her views, from, from her background, or, or what happened to her as a child. You know, she was totally blinded, but it was the first time that that opened up, because, oh my gosh, you know, He's actually not a bad man, yeah. you know? Well, yeah, he could have basically just let he me could die. Have. He could have. And it yeah. would have been his best interest. Yeah. Because yeah, I was yeah. ruining his life. Yeah. But he has a moral compass and yeah. wouldn't do that. But yeah. also, I think they... And then, then they realised, because they were going at it different ways, you know, trying to make um, better for the women. But I think at, from five on, they realised um, they were on the same mm -hmm. same path, same journey, same goal of um, making... Um, well, one... Making it better for the women, you know, the right way. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been great to see the vulnerability between the two characters, though, because there's been shifts. I mean, there's been the moments where, you know, where Will's the strong one and then Kaz is the strong one. But we saw in the last few episodes, basically, when Will basically was like, there's no justice and there's no point mm. in me doing this. And Kaz being, like, really vulnerable yeah. and saying, like, hey, I need you. Yeah. And then we see this episode where, you know, it's, it's, it's Kaz saying, mm. saying to Will, like, you've got to do this. Yeah. And it's a it's a great shift. It's yeah, but and also, this is actually the first time because my relationship with B or Will's relationship was totally different. It was more helping B get to where she wanted, to where she wanted, you know. Or, or but in this we in this relationship we're either, we're emotionally kind of connected, mm. but we also, we also got similar traits, 
and we can actually confine in China. I I never confided in in, in them. No. This this is the first time that Will's actually opened up and yes. actually really trusted because of what happened um, uh, by the river, um, and it's it's a nice it's a nice shift between the two, you know. Yeah. And. Um, it's a great, yeah. it's a different dynamic because yeah, it's both a being dynamic. vulnerable yeah. instead of just being one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah but and, but and I mean, because Will's always had this, you know, white knight type of, you know, persona because he is mm. always there for the women. And, and yeah. he was that for B. Yeah. Um, and he understood B and he knew that she was a good person and mm. he did try to help her. But mm. you're right, he never actually let B into him. Yeah, no, no, because they had a common goal. It was everyone trying to get to, 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 to bring down the freak. Whether it's here with Kaz with and Will, it's actually, no. Yes, we know that's the enemy there, but there are other ways apart from the way that we used to do it. You know, we you know that violence shouldn't be the issue. It shouldn't be, we shouldn't sort everything out by by violence. violence. Yeah, yeah, so no, that, that's that's that com, common thing that they have. Yeah, I hope we see it continue. Yeah. And then we can't we can't talk about this before we move on. That last scene. Let's use our favourite term of the interrogation room. Let's unpack that. Let's unpack it. Let's unpack it from that last scene. Let's unpack it from yeah. where Jake tells Will that he's discovered an escape plan. Mm -hmm. And then they obviously, we don't see this, but they obviously decide to trip the freak to get her in, in there. And Jake. And Jake decides mm -hmm. to trip her to get her in there. I mean, it's a big shift, I guess, from the relation, from what we saw earlier in the episode and the relationship that Jake and Will have had to mm -hmm. even work together on this mm -hmm. common goal to get rid of the freak. Like... Mm -hmm. Will's done a pretty trusty thing in yeah. trusting Jake, but obviously he's driven by a different motivator yeah. that he thinks, well, I've already got all this shit on Jake, so mm. I, I can go and do this. Um, do you think that's how... I think for, I think, I think for Jake, was, um, it was um, losing Vera. That's, what, that's how I feel. It was yeah. definitely because she, he lost Vera, because she fell in love with him. For, I think they, they came, I mean, we never kind of saw the scene and mm. it's never been discussed, but what I feel, what I think is, um, even though that happened, that, that scene where I discovered that he, he, was, he killed uh, Nails, Nails, Nails. Um, I think it was the only, after the two scenes, there was a freak scene and then there was uh, the, the, the scene with Tammy. When that, it was an opportunity, it's one of those things, you're given an opportunity and this is the only time, you know, this is a one and, and only opportunity and if you don't take it, then that's it. Yeah. She will um, rain again. She will rain yeah. again. And it's that shift. It's like I, I just, you know, it's, gotta I've got it. to, I've got to do it. You know, I've got to do it. And I think, and I think for 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 Jake as well. It's it's. Um, I, I mean, I'm I'm speaking on behalf of Jake. Um, um, what's his name? Um, Bernard here. But I think it's redemption as well. You know, having getting rid of that puppeteer and actually um, cutting the strings and having his own, having mm. his own say. But also I think he, he was heartbroken from that. And um, well, we do think that he, I, I mean, I, you generally believe that he's in love with Vera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He just is a victim of circ his mm. own circumstance, his own stupid circumstance he's a victim of, basically. Yeah, yeah. He makes stupid decisions yeah, yeah. Um, based on that. But then I guess, you know, from an audience perspective, we don't realise that it's Will <clears throat> doing the actual mm. burying. Yeah. And the, and the you know, phenomenal, and we've, we've talked about this so much, and I'm sure you're in agreement. scenes from Pamela inside that inside that box was just, you know, if, if everyone, I'm sure you were with me in the sense of just, you know, screaming, going, this is just another, That's... When just when you think Pamela can't reach any more highs, you just, you know, you like yeah. sit there and go, oh my God. Oh my goodness! I mean, I mean that that, that woman is again um, showing um, a master class in 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 performing. You know, she's just not only is she astounding and beautiful in real life, but um, I I'm literally in awe when I work with that woman. You know, and, and for um, I'm just totally in awe. You know, I mean, her focus when she's on set. You know, she doesn't. She, she's not a drama queen, she just sits wherever she is and just, and, 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 and in that moment, you know, until they cut and they release her, then she's Pamela again. But when she's on set, man, it's just, it's, you have to experience it. As an actor, it is the most amazing thing to ever witness, you know, and be part of. And, and I'm only, 
I'm only kind of I'm spewing that I, I never had so um, as many scenes with her uh, as I did last year with her. But yeah, she you know she's she's poor. Not only I mean we now most of us don't like the freak, but she's actually brought heart to it. You know, you felt for her. You felt why she's here. You understand why she is the person she is because of circumstances mm. in, in, in her childhood in her, her childhood. And she's brought that out. And every time yeah. you see her character, you see all that, you know? But she's just even without words, I mean yeah. is, we had Pamela on the interrogation room last week and it's just phenomenal in the sense of the also mm. the amount of stuff that she can bring to a role with no words. I know. Just mannerisms, eyes, head tilts, like yeah. just the strategy that you can see behind that is yeah, just everything. It's it's detail. Yeah. I mean the women, the whole the whole cast in fact, the whole cast is just so extra true. just extraordinary. Yeah. The amount of the amount of detail they put in their work, you know, uh, is just astounding. You know, they pick every little line and, you know, to them it means that one line means something, you know, it means this and, you know, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't match to where they are in their journey, it's just, they'll question it. But it's just like, I have never witnessed anything like that. It's just like, I'm terrible. Like, I am... I am absolutely terrible when it comes to, to things like that. But, but um, I do a little bit of research, but nothing compared to what the women do. I've like. seen you on set. You hold your own. Well, I, you know what? I, I think I think it's I think also the women. You know, I, I think the one thing I've always noticed when new cars come in, they know a level without even being told. They know a level where they must come at. You know, there is a level yeah. that you've got to be ready to go when you're when you're in the cast of Wentworth or in the show of Wentworth. But you know, I I bring my A game because of that talent, because of the talent we have in Wentworth. Mm. Pam, I'm Nicole, everyone, you know, Siggy, Celia, Cat, you know, yeah. every um, you know, um, the past uh, was um, was it Dan and, and everyone else that's been part of. It. But you know, you you are there. Um, they bring it out of you, you know. Yeah, but it's an amazing cast. It's an amazing, it's it's amazing, an amazing cast. cast. Yeah. And what an amazing last scene, guys! I mean, you love a you love a big a big season finale, and we can, gave you one. Can I? The one thing I remember, we had a read through, and the people that um, the guest readers that read the other parts, the other characters, they didn't know what um, what was happening. And I always remember. I always remember. So they read the script and we all read it and then it came to the bit where, you know, I buried the freak and there was about three or four of them in the table and they just went, as soon as, I was watching them because I knew it was coming, I was just watching, as soon as he, it says, cut on Will, they just went, <gasps> <laughs> It's Will! And I went, yes, <laughs> yes. But even in the beginning of the season when we did have that, when, when Marcia, bless her, Marcia and her team of writers, phenomenal. Um, when they were telling us also the, the whole arc of season five, I was just absolutely blown away. I was going, shit, this is going to be good. And this is straight after, you know, we said farewell to B. Smith, you mm -hmm. know. We weren't sure how it would, um, how would, you know, how, where it would go. Where would it would go from It's totally different structure because we're Definitely. used to having a drama where we follow our main character, right? Yeah. And everyone's yeah. story is off that arc. Yeah. We landed ourselves in season five, yeah. where we actually just had no main character, but just multiple no, storylines. No, which is fantastic. You know, so it's very. It's, you know, yeah, yeah, and I think, and I think also the writers. It was a blessing for the writers as well because they were able to. You know, they got to a point. Goes okay. Where do we go from here? So I think to be able to do that, where they had, yeah. you know, you know what I need to ask you what? Um, about this scene. Tammy sent me a text message just before we went live, and she wants, I don't Tammy know if I'm going to, yeah, Tammy Mac. Hi, Tammy Mac. She said to say, hey, murderer, no, it's okay, you're still freaking hot. <laughs> um, <laughs> she wants me to ask you about the, the bulls in his pants whilst burying Pam. The what? The, the pants, the bulls, tees, tees in his pants. What was in your pants when you were wearing Pam? Well, I've got balls, so they were in there definitely because all men have balls. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Tammy. Come back to us, Tammy. Come back. 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. The, the bull ants. Talk to him about the bull ants in his pants. Oh, the bull pants. ants. Yes. Deciphered. No, yeah, well, I, the, we were warned. There, we, we were warned there was some there, but n none of them ever made their, they never got up that no far. Bull ants in your pants? Nah, they didn't get up that far. Thank goodness. They could be eating the fruit, though. That's easy and I was a commando that night, too. Oh, commando burying. Yeah. Commando burial. Yeah. Should have kept that for our um, innocent or guilty, anyway. Let's move on from the episode and let's talk to Robbie about previous seasons and some other things that you guys are all burning to hear about. So. I mean, Will has been an integral part of Wentworth from season one mm -hmm. and through to this season. However, his story arc and where he's travelled has been very different from season to season. Mm -hmm. Do you want to walk us through that a little bit? Not in super detail, but basically from when, when we first met Will Jackson in season one to where we've got Will to now. Season one. Well, um, season one, Will was happy till wife passed away, till wife was murdered. Uh, Will lost the plot, trying to find out who the murderer was, um, and other secrets were revealed also, um, where wife had cheated on Will with Fletch, um, so that was another twist. Ruined then the friendships. Yep, yeah, which ruined our friendship. Um, and then season the freak came in, and, and his world, I think his world from then on was basically trying to figure out who this woman is and then realising why she was there and the reason why she was there. Um, but, um, had a, a, a close friendship with B because... I think it was, he was close to B because... Um, it was definitely close to B because this, this woman, you know, if, you know, when people do that one mistake they, where they didn't mean to do, you know, it's that one moment in life that they, 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 they stuff up and she, B was it. You know, and she, this this vulnerable, she saw a lot. She saw a lot of B in, in him as well. Um, and then, and I think the rest of the season also. You know, he had a girlfriend was framed for B's husband's murder, and but his main the main goal from the main arc for him was basically trying to take the freak down, mm. and um, contributing to that, and also um, you know trying to to help. You know, I think the thing is with Will, you know, he was emotionally, he's emotionally attached to that, to, to his job. Yeah. You know, he's got, he's got nothing else. He's on a mission to try because he feels like there is no one else that could give these women a chance. It's yeah, why. which actually was what we're talking about, segues into a lot of mm. people ask the question, Will's the unofficial white knight of the prison. Yeah. What's his motivator? Why, why is he on this plight for justice? You know? it, it, it's just that, you know, if he can change, if he can, it's that whole, it's simple as if he can change that one person, if, um, can change their direction to, 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 to better their life, then he's happy, he's done his job. But I, he, for him, he just doesn't see enough people in in in, the, in that environment that can do that offer that to the women yeah and it's the reason why he's there and also but to, to, to look I, I think it's also to look out for them because of the what what's happening in there with the freak and, and yeah. everything else that, that happens in there. and obviously given that he has a social worker background as well yeah yeah, yeah. He, you know he's not yeah, just yeah. A, he's not just a, he's not just a guard yeah. or, or not that any of them are just guards but it's not as if he's just in there for heavy muscle He's actually, no, you no, know, no. got an understanding of how this works. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got a better understanding understanding than most, yeah. in fact, because of his background and um, of his experience. Yeah. And then we come to a point where, he, you know, he's here now bearing the, the freak. the freak. See, freak. Well, we don't know. We you don't know, know what? The freak has got herself out of more <sighs> difficult situations than that. We don't know. Watch the space. No, Unless no, no. we actually see her, you know, like... Rotting corpse. Yeah. I don't put anything past the freak. Um, so, when you were first presented with Will as a character, what were your first thoughts? Do you remember that moment when you were first presented with... Is this when I got the audition? Mm -hmm. Or when I first got the audition, I was in uh, New Zealand. And um, I looked at it and I thought, the, 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 this character is Australian. He likes um, AFL. But that was my first thing. Why are they giving me this? I go, oh, okay, then I'll give it a shot. And I put put something on tape, not even thinking, or even not in a million. I didn't think in a million years I'd get it. 
and then um, it came back. They 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 said they liked the audition. They want to recall. They said to fly me back to Sydney for for recall. Did the recall. Then they did a chemistry recall with everyone. <laughs> I've never yeah, heard of that. I've you never have to have heard of chemistry with everyone. Yeah, to make sure they have chemistry. Oh, How do you go bit. into a chemistry recall? Wait, I think <laughs> <laughs> you go in there with a the chemistry set <laughs> and you just present it. Then goes this, this is all the admins. this is all my chemistry. This is all my chemistry chats. <laughs> um, no, no, it was everyone. I think they decided on people. They decided on them, on the characters, and they just put us in the room and see if we gel gel, and we did. And That's then, cool. But I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I got it. But I, I think, I think, um, one of the one of the EPs from Foxtel put my name in the in there, and they said, "Flick him the script and see what he can do." And here I am. So here thank you. Here you are. Nearly six years later. Know who you later. are if you're watching. You should be watching. Yeah. 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 Everyone should be watching. Um. So. We just went through all all of these amazing storylines that Will has had. Um, is there one scene in particular that's been challenging for you to attack? And I don't mean it could be physically or mentally or, or just a challenging scene. I think the most challenging one, it's funny, it was challenging but also fun, was the episode five. All the stuff with in the, the, in the, in the, the river yep. in the, and, and in, the, um, in the pool. Um, that was the most challenging because of one... Um, Working in compact spaces, in the space, being able to um, be uh, the underwater stuff was hard, and then and it was rainy the, and cold. Too, it was raining then. and it was cold, and the river was. But that you know, that was probably the most challenging physically. But I had so so much fun um, doing it. Um, and emotionally, I would say um, the stuff in episode in season two. Is it season two? I think season two when he got when he um, went off the rails. Mm -hmm. So I think about actually season season one. He went went off the rails. Um, he went back on on drugs and and he was sniffing everything that he can off the table. Yeah, that was why. <laughs> yeah, got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm across it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But it was just a, a, for me. It was a, an, a, um, yeah. It was just just a, just trying to to figure out how. How to play that? How to play it? How to yeah. play it? Get in, and yeah, yeah, put yourself in my, emotionally. Yeah, but, and then not look like you're winging, it, or you're winging it. You know, I want, I want to be, I wanted that to be believable to people, and um, I think I did it. Yeah, so, you yeah, did. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Um, and before I wrap this up, we ask everyone this question. Yeah. And it all sort of seems to fall in the same place, but I'm still going to ask it. Ask what it. do you love most about being on this series? Okay, honestly. I absolutely love every. Uh, I, I love the people, everyone involved, and I thought, you know, all the cast have probably said this, but truly, I love the show. Not only for, not only is it, it's it's, it's a freaking amazing show, and since it's okay, not since we f when it first when it first when we finished season one, I didn't think, I didn't even think I'd have legs. But then after um, having a, a media a media screening and reviewers coming out and raving, I thought, oh, sh oh shit, this is, this is on, well, we're on to a good thing. So from then on, the cast and crew, there's still some crew there from the original, from season one, that are still there. And the reason they're there is because they love the show and they love the cast and they love the product. Um, so, and, you know, we've, uh, you know, we've created um, a, a family atmosphere there mm, within a world, with, with, a world. and um and i think and everyone's everyone's so freaking passionate about it you know um you know Fo foxdale they love the show you know they absolutely love the show we love them for having us uh Fremantle, you know joe and her gang um you know having the, the, just the courage to put this on and and i and but to, yeah I'd do this if we go to season twenty. I'd do this, you know, and um, and I always said when when I get sick, if if I start hating this, then I'll leave. But I want this to go on forever, you know. I think all the fans do too. They never want to end. Yeah, and you know, cast is pretty spectacular, man. You know, it is. Yeah, and you know, you you work with a very very strong ensemble of female mm. cast. I mean, 
it's it's very rare oh, as well, yeah. not just in Australian television. Just let's look at the television industry as a whole to have a strong female lead. Yeah. This is like a strong this, female ensemble cast. I, you know what? With a couple of dudes thrown in there. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the, the amazing thing is the Australian actors that want to be part of this, you know? You know, when, when, when characters that audition, it's just like, shit, I've got an audition with Wentworth, you know? And I'm going, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm ready to get it. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm, go see my trailer with Yeah, my whatever. All right, just don't talk to me when you get all sad. <laughs> but yes, we, I do work with a phenomenal female cast, you know, everyone is just so powerful and, you know, legends of Australian acting community, the fact that they want to be part of this, that mm. says a lot, you know? Yeah, it does. So, you know what you said to me once, I don't know if you remember this, but so I don't. asked, nah, I think okay. we were sober, I'm pretty sure we were, um, I asked you a similar question or we had a similar question lined up for, for an interview or for something, Yeah. and I said that to you about what's it like working with such a strong female cast, and your reply to me was... Right. I don't look at them as female, I just look at them as amazing actors. And I thought that was really cool because, I mean, yes, we've got this gender shift and we're talking yeah, about yeah, women yeah. in roles, but it was a very cool response from you off the cuff. I don't even think we, were, we weren't on show, you can say it for anybody. Mm. And you said, I don't think about that. I just think I work with a, an amazing cast of really strong act, mm. like actors yeah. and everyone in their right, which yeah. I thought was very cool. Um, anyway, enough of all the serious stuff. We'll let the fans get into, into more of that. We're going to play a game. You're the last person to play Innocent or Guilty, and I think I'm most excited to ask you to play it because I feel like you're going to have lots of guilties. You reckon? <laughs> yep. And most of the cast are really good, you know. They don't, they're all very innocent. They're Ooh, all... geeks. That's why. <laughs> I'm the only rebel. I'm the only oh. rebel. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready, rebel? Yep. Have you ever been... Wait, sorry. Fight? What? Guilty means I've done it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Have you ever been in a fight? Multiples or just one? Yep. Have you ever called into work sick because you were hungover? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, next. Yep, okay. Um, well, this is obvious. Do you have any tattoos? Wait, wait. Just, just a little one. Just, the, just that one? Just a tiny one there, guys. Can you see it? And it just goes all around oh. here. That there, just, just around there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to zoom in on that, Tom? Just to make sure everyone can see it. It's really small. Yeah. Just make sure that everyone sees it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Um, do you see? That's from opening doors. (laughs) On (laughs) Wentworth. No, the Logies. You were checking everyone's passes to get in, and they were believing it and showing you. Have you seen seen the footage of that? Yeah. Yeah. Of people actually going, oh, he added my wallet. Oh, you believe it? I was just like, this is awesome. It won't happen again, girlfriend. <laughs> um, where was I? Do you sing in the shower? Guilty. Have you ever been arrested? Do you want to elaborate? Um, <laughs> I, I smuggled um, cocaine into um, uh, Cuba. Yeah. I ran a, um, a drug ring for... Um, uh, Mexican mm-hmm. drug lord. Wow. Yeah. No, but I have been arrested. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say why I was arrested. I I have been arrested. All right. Um, <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I told you this is tough. Um, have you ever sent a text to the wrong person? Hell yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, have you ever been totally freaked out by a fan? Freaked? How? What? Just like. Like, no. do they just freak you out? Because, you, you, know, you know, there's some, like, know. very passionate Wenty fans. Can I just say to some of the fans out there, you're free, some of the fans out there, your freakiness is not attractive. Okay? Just, just, just mellow out, man, you know? Just, just calm down. <laughs> right? You're, you're freaking my sisters out, some of you guys out there. All right? Don't freak my sisters out, man. All right. All love. Guilty. Let's see all, all love. Hearts. Love. All the love hearts. Anyway, next one. It's just pretendies. Um, have you ever done a nudie run? Guilty. Yeah. Just you and Tam then. Um, have you ever regifted a gift? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> up, sugar. Yeah, he gilded everything. I told you, you'd be funny. 
Have you ever considered being on a reality TV series? Which one? I was called uh, the Mangasivas. <laughs> like instead of the Kardashians, would be the Mangasivas because yeah. I've got another brother who's an actor, and I've got a brother who's a director. I've got a brother who's a builder, and a one in IT, and I've got a sister. Yeah. Yeah. We could still see this happen. We could see this happen. Anyone um, out there see yeah. this? I mean, they're making TV shows like Yummy Mummies. Show. I'm pretty sure we can see we can see this show. Happen. I've had ideas for a reality show, but um, no, I actually yeah, not yet. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you ever forgotten your lines? Hell yeah. Have you ever? This is, I haven't seen one innocent hey. No. Um, no, I haven't. No. Nah. Oh, you were kind of innocent on the fan thing because you haven't had it happen to you. Mm -hmm. That's that's the only thing. Um, basically, you're a bad guy. Um, you're a rebel. No, you made me lose where I'm up to. Um, uh, have you had a crush on a castmate? Now you know I'm going to have to ask you who. I had my girlfriend. Um, it was uh, what on this show? On any show. Oh yeah, I've had one of my crushes is my girlfriend now. Oh, you crashed on her when you worked with her? Yeah, I literally crashed on her. Yeah. Sorry, you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, okay. Well, you probably said no, but you're like, I'm here now. So. Right. <laughs> if you get off me. <laughs> Can you get off me? Yep, sure. Yep, sweet. Only if you're your girlfriend. Oh, no. Yep, sweet. Yeah, right. I'll let you breathe. Okay. Has Have fans ever or someone ever mistaken you for somebody else? Hell yeah. Who? All Blacks. Oh, really? Rugby league players. I get rugby league players, I get rugby players, I get Jay Langaya. Who's that? I've heard that. Oh, I oh know that, yeah. that he's in, um, what this latest show is in? Is it in? He does, he does a, a wonderful work for, he does um, a little kid show. Yes, yeah. high school. I, I used to do high school. school. Yeah. I, used to be, I used to be mistaken for Jay for such a long time. Wow. Stephen Ger Kearney, Stephen Kearney is used to coach for Melbourne Storm. He's yeah. a rugby league player. We're going He's to do, you, you know that now you've said this, there's all these memes that are going to come out comparing you to all these people, yeah. just saying. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, we Oh, and The Rock. The Rock? I've been mistaken for The Rock. Wow. In Thailand. They couldn't speak English properly, <laughs> and I was having a feed, and they went, Rock, Rock, Rock. <laughs> yeah. Did you claim it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm The Rock. Yeah, <laughs> So yes, yes, The Rock. The Rock. All right, that is the best kind of plane. And the last one, which you've already exposed in the first 10 minutes of talking, have you ever gone commando? Many a times. Yeah. Yeah. Guilty. Guilty. All right, audience, fans, That's here's the shocking. time that they love the most. This is the, this is the best time. And I can tell you this now, Robbie, and I've told you this, and the girls have told you this. Right. How good the audience are with their questions. They're better than me. They come up with much better questions. Well, what are their questions? Well, we're about to find out. We're about Go. to throw to them. And we're about to... Let them unleash on you and ask you all the important questions that they want to know. All right, guys. So they're coming in really quickly. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. um, Mel Rose. Hi, Robbie. What was your first reaction when finding out you were the one who did, does it? As in, I'm assuming burying the freak. Genius. Genius. I didn't, or, or, uh, yeah, I thought it was genius because no one would ever suspect it, sus suspect it. No, more. not will. Not in a million years. Mm -hmm. When I read that, I thought that is genius. Yeah. Yeah. Not will. Um, this is from Mary Wu Sims. Can we fast forward to next season, please? What a season. How do you feel now that your character has crossed over to the dark side? How do I feel? Um... Well, we don't, we don't know if there's another season, so I think that's probably a question that I would answer if there is another season. Yeah? Yeah. All yeah. right. Um, do you think... The Sorry. What were you, you think? You know what? I think, I, think, I think for anyone in that circumstance, um, I think it, it would haunt them yeah. forever. You, know? you can't do that without a conscience. No, especially no will. way. Can't do that. Yeah, I, there are people that can that can deal with that, but for 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 someone like Will, that is not in his DNA. No, yeah, no, it's not. In Which his actually DNA. It would lead, haunt them. leads into the next question: Do you think the guilt would chew away at Will, or do you think you'll oh, be able to throw it away? I, yeah, I think it would. I, most definitely. 
Yeah. I think either way of them, to a point that he will probably need to be, he, he'll, he'll probably need redemption, whether I think at some point you probably, if that was the case, you'll probably give himself in. Yes. He would probably to, do the noble thing like you know, that, you know? Yeah. That's what he would do. Um, this is a this is a fun question from um, Justina. Oh, what is it? What am I looking at? What have I been handled? Oh, look at this from Wentworth Memes already. So quick. Our knight in black armour. That's better than my one. Oh. Can you guys see that? That's from our friends at Wentworth Memes. That's actually really good. It is. Leah. I wish I hadn't thought of that. Leah is very good. And she's a big fan. Love your um, work. Hang on. Now I've lost where I was. Because these questions are coming in. And I had a really good one. Okay. Um, Justina Corpius. That's, I'm sorry if I got your surname wrong. Do you think Will and Vera have a chance to be together now Jake is out of the picture? Yep. It's on, right? Yep. Did we? Oh, yes, yes. I reckon if there's another season, it's actually Will's baby. Yeah, Vera and Will have a baby yep. together. It, me and Kate always joke about this. It should, we should yep. hook up. So hook who up, knows? Hook up, have hook a baby, up, have a baby, then have a get a hitch, have a wedding. Have a wedding. Invite all the inmates and do it in the yard. And this is from Red Wanu. Robbie, how was it for you as an actor to play the part that buried the freak alive? I mean, that must have been a huge scene to film for you. Um, it's a, it was a, it was a, yeah, it was a huge scene because of what I could hear. I I never heard I ne I was never there when they did um, when they filmed um, that scene where um, the freak was buried, but uh, um, after watching episode twelve, I actually watched it when we watched episode twelve tonight. I was actually looking and I'm thinking, holy shit, that voice there, what was happening, what he could hear while he was burying, that would forever. Be, be repeated, mind. be replayed in his mind, um, and and that was, and that would be um, that would be quite that would be daunting for 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 someone like that. You yeah, know? yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but filming that scene, you know, we yeah, filming that scene. I wasn't that far from the studio, but um, all I was worried about was those ants getting into my pants. <laughs> those cool ants. <laughs> that that was all I was worried. No about. ants in the pants. No um, ants in the pants. This is from Kath Paul. I love your T-shirt. Can you please tell us what it is? Oh, it's a, it's anti-bullying. See? Speak up, stand together, stop bullying. Stop bullying. There's too much of it. That's what Don't it is. Be a but bully. I didn't wear it because I advertise. I just I like the color pink, and I didn't have a clean T-shirt. But yeah, it's a it's a little. You didn't have a clean T-shirt. I didn't. I didn't have a clean T-shirt. <laughs> They're all dirty because I wear them once and then they're they and then they're done. Wash. Once they're well, you, who's here? Yeah. Who's here to wash your clothes? Yeah. It's you a little campaign. It? It's a little campaign that I was part of okay. and I helped to promote. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm, a lot of people ask the same question, so I'm going to combine it into one. Yeah. You've probably heard about this. There's a rat in Wentworth that just keeps texting information to people and telling them all this stuff that's going on. And every week we try and find out who the Wentworth rat is. And now people are starting to say, well, if, if, if Will can bury the freak, what if Will's the rat? Have you, has Will been the rat? Has what? Will been the one texting people? Texting people what? Information from the inside. Has it been Will? Have we discovered who it is? Yes. Will you divulge if Will is the Wentworth rat? I am. Guilty. You heard it here first, everyone. Sorry. Because the rats even been making out that it's a chick. But it's obviously a cover to, to fool us. So this rat, mm. is this a real person? Yeah. Inside the prison, it's been texting everyone. What? Mm. Man, I didn't watch... When? What? <laughs> I've got to watch 12 again. Yeah. What that text? Yeah. What? Yeah. Tell me what happens? Yeah. What? Texas people. Texas people, what's going on? What's my last message from the rat? Let me see. We'll do it live. What's a rat? See, look at this rat telling me. You better not be lagging. Fuck your moral compass, screws. You've had too many chances to rid us all of the freak and you failed. So oh. Look. You know, it was Ferguson pulling his strings the whole time. Jesus. See? 
I caught this footage of you. Holy man, you've got... Look at people on the inside. These fans no, are serious. They're not, no, they're not there's, small there's fans. no one from the inside. Yeah, we do. We have someone on the inside. Yes. We care too much for our show to, to, to do that. And if, if I do find out, I'll be the first one to know who the rat is. And if I do... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit scared now. Yeah. Um... This is from uh, Janine Lomas Humphreys. Thank you for your amazing performance this season, Robbie. Who do you think will be the next governor and why? Who do I think will be the next governor? I think, so who we got? Oh, I think it'll still be Vera. Well, it's Channing at the moment. Remember, because Channing overthrowed her. But do you think yeah. she'll reinstate us? I reckon it'll be Vera again. Yeah. Or me. It's either Vera or myself. Not Jake. We can't deal with Jake um, as governor. No, Jake has got no. Yeah. Although, in saying that, because Jake and Channing, so it could be Jake. I know, that's what we don't know. That's what's scary. Imagine Jake is governor. Yeah, I think it'll be Jake. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, this is from Rebecca Taylor. Mr. J, why didn't you set that box on fire before you finished burying it? What? Because I didn't have any gasoline. <laughs> I need it for my truck to get back home. Really? Okay, if I set it on fire and then buried it, that puts out the fire. Oh, it does. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, right? Mm. Okay, yeah. all right. That's a good idea. Yeah. This is from Luke Skiberens. You're a well-documented prankster and a kid at heart. What mischief did you get up on this season? You're a legend, Robbie. Cheers to a great season. Oh, thanks, man. What, um, what did I get up to this season? Who did you prank? We know that you prank people. I did a prank recently. Oh, yes. Someone wrote um, precious, um, fussy. So I've got a little tape cordon off the area where I sit, okay? Because all the women in our cast have taken up all the area. So now I've got a little cordon off tape thing right next to, right in front of our uh, AD, Alex Reed. And then one, one person wrote fussy, precious, Everything that you would say for an actor. So what I did to that person was I got a chain and a lock and chained her bag. You know, one of those wheelie bags? Chained it to Alex's table and I left for the day. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the barbed wire, actually got barbed wire. Peter, Peter, barbed wire around her bag. It wasn't actually barbed wire and I left for the day. And that was it. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Literally don't, don't. Um, this is from Jackie Pelicanos. What's your favourite food? My favourite food would be lamb. Lamb. I'm a kiwi. Lamb. lamb. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, and then my mum's, um, we have a dish called kokolesa. It's a Samoan dish. And mum, it's basically kind of almost like chocolate rice. Chocolate rice? Yeah. Yum. My kids love it. I love it. It's, yeah. Um, this is from Cody Dewis. During your career, what's the most uncomfortable scene you've had to film for a character? Sex scenes. Sex scenes? Don't yeah, there were sex scenes in the beginning, in the season one, where I was um, doing someone at my house, a, a girl at my house, and I remember ringing. Oh, when you her, lost it. When I lost it. Yeah. And then I, I, and I had sex with another girl in the toilet. And, and sex, sex scenes are the most uncomfortable. Yeah, I like them. I, I don't like them, you know. No. I've done one sex scene, actually, should I? What? The first sex scenes I did, I got a hat on. <laughs> That's all good for you and the person that you're doing it with. Seriously. And all the, the people that are standing around. The funniest thing was, what <laughs> happened was, it was like the sex scene, because the girl... Puts her hand down my pants. It was a movie, it's called Stick Me, if you see it. She so puts her hand down. It was the first ever sex scene I'd done. And then there was a boom operator, his name was Sam. And so she puts her hand, and I just went, and I felt it. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no. <laughs> so, and I went, cut! And I just went like that. Anyway, she took off. Sam was right there with his boom, going like that. And I got, and I stood up, and it was... Like, <laughs> On the side of my undies. And Sam went like this, he just went like that, and he went down. And he went, looked in my face, and he went down. He goes, 
while holding the broom. <laughs> And he looked at me and goes, he looked at me and goes, at the time we had our Prime Minister, her name was Jenny Shipley, lovely lady, but she's not the most attractive lady, and he just said to me, Jenny Shipley, Jenny Shipley, Jenny Shipley, Jenny Shipley. <laughs> <laughs> did it work? I did. Yeah. Is that your yeah. new, is that your new um, sex scene? But it was play? like, oh, far out, man. It was just like, no, no, don't do it, don't, oh, there it is, and cut. <laughs> You heard it first. I've never go. told that story. Look at, look at Robbie over sharing. I love it. Um, let's get back to your question. You need a drink after that. That was um, <laughs> Jamie Bell. Everyone's just obsessed with Will hooking up with everyone. Jamie Bell, will Will and Kaz ever hook up? I don't know. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I honestly no. possibly. Who knows? I can imagine. I could hook up with anyone. Yeah, you could hook up with Jake. Yes, I could hook up with Jake. I could hook up with Shannon. Vera. Oh, you know who everyone hooks up with? Who? Nurse Radcliffe. Yeah, I didn't hook up with Nurse. Although I did hook up with, with, the nurse, nurse. with the other nurse. But, but she, she was, left me but because she, she didn't nice. trust me. She had trust she issues. Nice but because I, she thought I was doing it with B. Yeah, she did. Everyone thought you were doing it with B. I wasn't, you know. Because it was a, it was a, it was a. Rose, that was her name. Yeah, it was a original, original. Uh, 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 I'm not going to keep going. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, because I'm trying to read it at the same time. JC Smith, Robbie, you're awesome and so hilarious. I'm super happy that you'll be in the next season of Wentworth. Do you think Kaz and Will will be a thing? Do you feel that what happened to the freak was the right revenge for B? I think it was the right revenge for B. I think at some point we needed to see that happen. Um, I don't know how long, you know, a character like that could go for before it becomes, um, you know, not believable, if you know what I mean. Mm. I'm talking about the freak here. Um, although Pam, you know, Pamela's absolutely fantastic, wonderful. But at some point, those characters have to come to, uh, yeah. to have to collide. Um, what was the other question? Um, well, we covered that one. Do you think Will and Kaz will be a thing in the future? I, no. I don't think. I think Kaz would let it. I don't think Will. No, no. Know. I think the. It, I think if they did hook up, it would um, jeopardize their friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a really insightful question, and I don't even know if you're about to answer it, so no pressure to answer it. But Sarah Johnson wants to know, did Will know he was letting Frankie escape? Do you think he allowed it because he knows Frankie is innocent? Yep. He did? Okay. Yeah, he, let, he, he knew. He, he knew this he knew, whole escape plan. He knew Frankie was in there, and he also knew that Ali, I reckon he knew that Ali was going to be there. Jake would have told him everything. Yeah. And then... Um, yeah, yeah, and that's and that's why because Ali decided too not to go and swap it for the freak. Yeah, that's interesting. So yes, I did know Frankie was in because I thought I knew there are some scenes earlier scenes where I I actually believe her. I say yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Um, this is from Tamika Marie. Who's your guest on the newest villain for Wentworth? Who's my guest? Yeah, who, you, who do you guess is the new like guess for the new the newest villain? But, we, but um, Tamika, we don't know that the freak's gone. Mm. So we just assume, like, I mean, it's a pretty tricky situation to get outside of a box that's being buried, but mm. we have seen the freak recover. She's like a cockroach in a nuclear bomb. She would be It'd the It would be very hard for the freak. I mean, it would be very hard to... to you've, you've got to be, like, Hercules to be able to bust, bust out of that box, right? Because it's, like, that much of dirt... Imagine that much dirt. Yeah. That's a lot of dirt. It is. But you know what? If it was anyone else, I would go, Dunsky's deado. But it's Ferguson. Yeah, it is Ferguson. Like, anything can happen. I, don't, I just don't think that... I just don't... I can't say it's 100% done. Yeah. We can't say. We don't know. No, we don't know. No, we don't. Um, this is from Andrew. Do you think Vera will be happy now that the freak is gone? Or do you think she'll be concerned with what Will has done? Well, I don't know. Well, obviously, well, Vera doesn't know right now that Will's done anything. No, 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 and she no, might she never know. Yeah. But I think she'd be relieved that the freak's gone. Yeah. Well, but then, then again, though, as far as 
what Vera knows now, because remember, what the audience has seen is not what Vera knows. Vera just thinks she's escaped. No, yeah, Vera exactly. has no idea yeah, whether yeah. she's dead. She no, just thinks no, she's out no, in the run. No, one, no. The only people that know are it's myself. the audience. What, yeah. And Jake. Yeah, and Jake. Really? And, and Ellie. Yeah. So, I think there's, there, there'll be a part of Vera that would be, you know, that would definitely be, be relieved. Yeah. Um, that, it, well, well Again, like we, like you said, we don't know. Yeah. She doesn't know. She doesn't know yet. Man, you guys ask some good they questions. I told you they're better than me, right? Holy moly. They're moles. seriously better than me. All right, guys, I'm going to give you three seconds to give me your last questions because we have to move on to our last thing and I have to let Robbie go home because he's got to go yeah. and work I've got to do yoga and stuff. Yeah. He, um, he also does um, floristry courses <laughs> on Wednesdays. Yeah. And make coffee. Yeah. Um, in my local cafe. Because yeah. I'm unemployed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's one from Tash Cooper. Why do you think Will never sought revenge on Frankie for killing Meg? That was sorted out in one episode. Uh, if, I don't know what season that was. It was sorted. She told me it was an accident. Mm. Um, and also, at that point, Frankie had actually taken a turn and decided to um you know decided to 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 to, to, to follow a path a better path you know. mm -hmm. there was a change in frankie that that will saw and then when i discovered that she was the killer as she, yeah, she said to me there was an accident mm -hmm. but uh, yeah so no. No, there's no need for revenge no there was no need for revenge. um this is a cool one from leah Three people at a dinner party. Who are your top picks? My top picks? Three peeps. Um, okay. I would go... Oh, but they're all sports people, though. It's your, your dinner party. It is my dinner party. I would go... Uh, Nelson Mandela. Good pick. I, then I would go... Uh, Donald Trump. Really? He's not a sports person. He's going to make it a lot interesting. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, when you said they're all sports people, I didn't expect you to say Donald Trump. And then Muhammad Ali, because Muhammad Ali would just knock him out. That's a very good dinner party. Yeah, that's a good dinner party, right? I think everyone would just want to knock Trump out. No, I, I think he probably would be tamed. He might let you have a dinner party at one of his fancy restaurants. Yeah. So it might I just want Donald Trump to be there to just for my entertainment. <laughs> and then, so then, yeah, yeah, anyway, so. And the lucky last question, da, 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 there's so many good ones, guys, and you know how I... Okay, this is a good one. This is from Yana Cortis. If you could bring back one dead person, who would it be? From the show? It doesn't say from the show, it just says... Does it have to be... Do, do they have to be dead? It just says if you could bring back one dead person, who would it be? It okay. doesn't specifically this say... This person is not dead, but I'd bring back Fletch. Oh, Fletchy. We miss Fletch. I know lots of you would probably say bring back B, but I yeah, I, I like Fletch. Only because I love Aaron. Yeah, we, Aaron's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of bromance happening there. Bromance. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, because I have to do it, this is from Natalie Colwell. We're going to do um, shoot, shag, or marry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. As yeah. of the cast, you've got to pick. So. What? Yeah. As so characters, as characters, not as themselves. Oh, so you've got... <laughs> <laughs> Look at you in okay, the innocent wait. son. Okay. Right? You've got... Right. Did everyone else do this though? No. No one did it. I'm just making you do it. Oh, it's shit. the last interrogation room. We're going off. We're going off. Rogue. We're going rogue. Okay. So we've got the freak. I'm going to pick. We've got the freak. We've got... Kaz. And we've got Vera. Shoot, shag or marry. Shoot. Um, freak. Yeah. Shag, um, Kaz, marry Vera. Oh, that's so cute. That's a Will thing. That, that's what Will would do. That was what Will would do. Yeah. That's cute. All right. Thank you all. I thought that was going to be hard. <laughs> it was hard, but it was still cute. Um, thank you all for your amazing questions, as always. And now we are going... Oh, actually, one more question that we always ask everyone. Um, what... Oh, you're also going to be sport... What Foxtel TV series do you love to binge on? Sport. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I actually like um, 
um, what is it? Grand Designs. Wow. Yeah, I do like Grand Designs. I actually don't mind, I used to like the English one, but now the Australian one has kind of taken that over. So I like the Australian Grand Design. I also like um, Maddie John's, their show, Sport. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, and then the other one, oh, I, I just love National Geographic, um, um, Discovery, all those. Those are the... Those, those, do those you like, like the but CI channel? Do you like the Crime channel? I like the Crime channel. Oh, but okay. those are the ones I kind of binge on. If, I'm, if nothing good uh, is on sports, I go there. So you're an and intellect. Then, so like, yeah. You're an intellect. Yeah. I'm so intelligent. <laughs> All right. We're going to do <laughs> guilty of being intelligent yes. and extremely good looking. Um, <laughs> final 15. Da -da -da -da. So... I'm going to shoot these like either alls at you and you need to tell me the first one that comes into your head. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, you ready? So yeah. straight away. You can't, and you can't sit on the fence. Everyone wants to sit on the fence. The fence sitting, just pick one or the other. Okay. Okay? They look so scared. They're not that scared. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Sydney or Melbourne? Melbourne. Beer or wine? Beer. Beer or B? B. <gasps> Phone call or text? Phone call. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Passenger or driver? Driver. TV or book? <laughs> TV. <laughs> what? You just said you're an intellect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's books on TV. <laughs> Winter. <laughs> Winter or summer? Summer. Flip flops or sneakers? Flip flops. <laughs> uh, sneakers. Dine in or dine out? Dine in. Don't you call them... um? Yankles, Jandals. Jandals. Yeah. <laughs> Yankles. Yankles. I'm like, I know there's, no, a, I know there's another but, word they yeah. use. Jandals. Jandals. You guys call them thongs. Yeah. Yeah. They're G strings in New Zealand. Are they really? Yeah. Um, dine in or dine out? Dine in. Fries or salad? Fries. Loud or quiet? Quiet. Sports or drama? Sports. <laughs> Sweets or savory? Oh, savory. And last, yeah. tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. That's it. You survived. Oh, was no. it as scary as you thought it was going to be? It is. It, it, yes, it was. It was really scary. Oh. But you know what? You are wonderful. Oh, thank you. You're wonderful. Well, this is our last, I can't believe it, we've done 12 interrogation rooms with 12 yeah. cast. Over the last 12 weeks, I'm packing 12 amazing episodes that make up season five. Yeah. Um, and what... An interrogation room to end on. Um, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for coming because I know you, you've got you got work tomorrow and you work today, so we appreciate it. Yep. Thank you all at home for tuning in, not just tonight, but for the last twelve weeks. Yep. That's some dedication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To watch an episode and then come and chat to us for an hour. There's yep. some pretty amazing fans, yep. and um, without all you guys, this show wouldn't be. Um, the success that it is. That so is very true. That we thank true. you. So thank you. Thank you to all the peeps out there for, for supporting for supporting us. Continue to support us if we go again. But um, yeah, no. Nah. You guys rock, man. <laughs> Guilty. Guilty of rocking. Yeah. Um, but thank you. And we will, we will, we, we can't tell you when or how, but we will see you again in 2017 when Wentworth Season 6 returns to our to Showcase channel. I don't yep. know when, I don't know how, I don't know what's happening, but I just know that it's coming. Yeah! Oh. So stay tuned. Yeah. All right. 2018. Oh, sorry, tw it's 2017 this year. Oh, 2017. Holy shit, yeah. 2017 yeah. 2018. Year. 2018. 2018. I haven't been drinking beer. Robbie has. I've been drinking water. I just don't know what year it is. Low in carbs. Um, thank you all. Thank you, Robbie, and peace out. See you, babes.